What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes Today, and I'm so grateful that LEGO invited me to be a part of their LEGO video launch. LEGO Video is a new theme coming from LEGO where you will be able to pair minifigures with music videos and you can create music videos on a brand new app that was created in partnership with Universal Music. So you're going to get to use all kinds of cool songs, create music videos, and build your minifig collection with awesome new minifigs. Now with that being said, I am super grateful again to LEGO for choosing me to be a part of this. They only chose about 20 people worldwide for this launch and I'm super, super honored to be one of them. With that being said, I've had to sit on this for about a month, so it's been so hard to be so secretive and not tell you guys about it, but I am super, super excited. So we're going to break down LEGO Video before it comes out on March 1st. You can get all the details, and I do want to see you guys drop some comments down below with some questions or your thoughts on the theme, because I do want to have a conversation about it. I don't think the theme is controversial per se, but I think it's definitely a conversation starter. So I'm really curious to hear what you guys think of LEGO Video, and without further ado, let's kind of walk you through the theme and my experience with opening up all of this stuff. I kind of shot this over several days, so it's a little bit of like a vlog format in a way. But anyways, without further ado, let's dive in and start talking some LEGO video. We're going to be taking a look at what's inside this box, as well as the actual video app and how you use all of this. Now, in my opinion, LEGO Video is basically like TikTok for LEGO. You're making music videos using LEGO figures. There's all kinds of new sets and themes. So without further ado, let's bust this box open and see what they sent. So as you can see, it says LEGO Music Video Maker, LEGO Video up there. We've got the LEGO logo down here. We do have to open up this flap. There's a little preview of what the app looks like. It tells you to download the free app. Now, uh, the app is not out as of this video being made, but I did get a like developer app, so I did get to test everything. So we open it up here. It tells us you know, about the Universal Music Partnership. And basically, again, like I said, it's a lot like TikTok where you're gonna take you know, songs and popular songs and make Lego music videos out of them. Now this right here, if you're really a Lego nerd like me and you wanna pause the video and read this, you certainly can. But basically, this is what we've got. So they sent me four sets. Two of them are these little uh, expansion packs that have one minifig inside plus three beat bits. Now when we flip it around, you can see what the back looks like. And according to this sheet here, if you read the whole thing, these are actually prototypes. So by the time it gets to stores, these may or may not look exactly like what you see. Uh, a while back, LEGO was talking about possibly changing all CMFs to these boxes so you can't feel what's inside. So it is possible that this is like a prototype that'll never make it out. So I'm very excited about that. But we got two of these. As you can see, they're identical. I don't know who's inside. And then these are the actual video sets. Now, obviously, I do know who's in these. This one is the Hip Hop Robot Beat Box. So when we turn it on the side, you can see what all is included there. When we turn it here, you can see what the minifig looks like up close. Then over here, it tells you more about video. So again, you're going to choose music from the app library. Then you scan in this actual set and your beat bits. And, you know, that allows you to do like different dance moves in the video or transitions or effects in the video. And then, of course, you record it. And there's like a social media aspect to video, too, as you can see here where you can actually like share your video online, which is quite cool. So yeah, that's very cool. So I got that one. Then I got the Unicorn DJ Beatbox. So pretty random. I really hope I got the Llama Guy. I don't know if the Llama Guy is like a set or if he's in these, but that's really the one I was most excited about. But once again, just giving you a quick once over of the entire box here because I'm gonna be filming this video in parts, like, you know, as I get to open these and build them and show those off and of course use the app, I actually expect this to be a pretty long video all in. So with that being said, I mean, that's really all Lego sent me as far as video, um, you know, sets go. That's all there is to look at. So let's go ahead and transition to the next part of this video where I start to take a look at these unboxed. Just trying to keep that box as nice as possible for my collection. Anyways, that's opened up. So you pull out those tabs, I guess. Okay, I guess I only did need to open one side, but we pull it out and there we go. There's the inside of the box. You get instructions in a bag. So this looks like some kind of pop star girl. Really like those dull molded legs. Those are nice, but let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. 
you are seeing this for the first time as well as me, so this is all new to me. So okay, it shows us who all we can possibly get. So let's start up top here. We've got an ice cream saxophone guy. We've got like a Ninjago pop star looking guy. This shark dude with the mohawk, I'm so into that. We've got this uh, like little leopard cheetah person here. We've got a ghost like emo girl over here. I really like that face. What do we have here, a fox? Look at that tail back there, that's cool. Got like a hip hop fox. That guy's obviously gonna be like a country pop star. Oh, look at that tambourine piece, that's super cool. We've got an alien here with a keytar. This is the one I just got, of course, a popcorn cheerleader girl, I guess. <laughs> got a hip hop rabbit and a like cool werewolf looking guy, so that's cool. Then when we flip it around here, it tells us everything over here. So again, the content will vary. So, you know, you could get two of the ice cream guy, for example, but the beat bits inside could be different. So I think the idea is, you know, that you can trade with your friends and whatnot. So they want you to build this and then you can stand your minifig on top because once you download the app, you can scan your figure and your beat bits into your collection. So that's pretty cool. And you'll notice that this says Bandmates Series 1. So, you know, presumably video is gonna be a multi-series theme if everything takes off and goes the right way. So there is our first one. So let's go ahead and open up my second one and see who we got that time. All right, got the second box open here. And who did we get? Who did we get? Oh, cool, it's that ghost lady we were looking at with the green head, that's very cool. Now, one thing I wanna say is when LEGO sent these to, you know, those of us in the LEGO Ambassador Network that got this, it was completely random. Like, we didn't get to pick who was in here, LEGO just picked one and sent it to us. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open up one of these, see what this looks like. So again, just gonna cut this tab up here. So we open up the box just like this, and then, wow, look at that. There's like a big plastic piece that I guess your character sits inside. There's a bag right here with all the pieces, instructions. I guess this is like a little handle so you can like carry it wherever you want to go. That's kind of cool. And let's open up the instruction booklet and take a look at that. This is cool. It's like literally Lego history, you know, looking at a new theme before it's even out here. I'm glad you guys are here with me to experience this. So there's what our figure looks like when we're going to build him up. I like that we've kind of got this cool like door side here. Those are obviously all new pieces. So this is gonna be really fun to build and take a look at. I'm just giving you an overview of the instructions so you can get a vibe. Oh, look at that. You can store your beat bits inside of this box. That's very cool, very cool. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and uh, I'll jump ahead and actually get these built so we can take a look at the set content itself. All right, so here we are. We've got everything built and ready to show off. And again, just for clarity, these two on the end are called beat boxes, and these are called bandmates. So the kind of CMF series of this, if you will, that have the individual figure with the little beat bricks right there are called bandmates, and these boxes are called beat boxes. Now, what happens is you go ahead and you build everything you see here. There's a lot of new elements, like this little tiny stage that your character sits on. Then, of course, you can move these little doors in. Now, on these doors, there are a bunch of two-by-two -two printed tiles, and these are called beat bricks. These are what you actually scan into the app to add different effects or dance moves or things like that into your video music videos. So then you can flip this around, and you see that, you know, there's like a brick-built design on the back. You can... Take that off and you'll see there's these little slots because every set comes with some extra brick beats that you can slide right into there to carry them. You know, if you were gonna take it to a friend's house or you were gonna take it on vacation with you or something. Uh, so that's basically what we are looking at there. So we're gonna close that up. And then again, for traveling, if you were gonna take this somewhere, these doors just move all the way in like that. And then you take this big clear piece back here, slide this on, and then it clicks right there into the back. And then there's a little handle that you can hold it. Now the handle isn't very large. It's definitely made for somebody with smaller hands than me, but it does give you a nice little overview of what we're looking at here. Now to take that off, you just kind of clip that pull it out and then just do the opposite obviously to open it back up. But I know you guys love minifigures here on my channel, so let's take a look at the minifigure. This is like a unicorn pop star. I think it's Unicorn DJ is the official name, but she's got this long hair back here, a brand new headpiece of course with that unicorn horn up there. She's got a little record here. The dull molded legs are very nice and yeah, it's just a really stellar figure all around. Now let's take a look at one of the bandmates. Let's take a look at this one because I think it's the cooler of the two. 
I'm not really sure of this character's name, but she's kind of like this ghost lady, which is really cool. I love that headpiece and, of course, the green little ghost legs she has. They're very cool. I really love this, the Bellatrix hairpiece. So you build this little stand that she goes on with these studs facing outwards. Then you take a 2 by 6 plate and clip it on there. And then, of course, you get some beat bricks that you put right on there. And again, those are going to scan in the app. We're going to take a look at the app and how everything works here in just a minute. But I kind of wanted to give you an overview of everything we have going on here. Here's the cheerleader character, very bubblegum looking, lots of candy emblems there. Uh, dull molded legs, once again, that's very nice. Um, just one side to the heads on all of these, interestingly enough. You'd think you'd get different expressions, but I guess the main functionality is scanning these into the app. So, you know, I guess they kind of skimped out on giving you both heads there. Then, of course, we have the Hip Hop Robot Beatbox here. Of course, lots of beat bricks off to the side, as you can see. Uh, the little stage is yellow this time around. You do need to push his arms in, and then, of course, you know, that piece back there goes on just like that. But I did think one thing was cool, that you can lift up his headpiece, and he has a really cool head underneath there that I think works really, really well. So you slide that back on once again. This back part opens up. There's little slots in there that you can put your bricks in. And then that's everything as far as the main builds go. So now what we're going to do is transition into actually using the app and show you why all of this matters and how all of it makes sense. So let's jump right into that. Right, so here you're getting your first look at the video app. Excuse my cracked phone screen. Of course it cracked right before I was filming this. With that being said, the wait times on this app are a little bit long as you can see, but that may be because I'm recording this using the beta version of the app. Here's what the inside looks like. If you click in the bottom right, you'll see all the possible minifigures that you can scan in. So here's the Unicorn DJ, which of course I have. So let's go ahead and scan her in. We will have to tilt the phone on the side. You do have to change the orientation of your phone quite often for this. You'll see a little animation here, and then we're going to get right into scanning the character. So here we go. You'll see this little uh, schematic. You just need to line it up there, and it will scan in. And unfortunately for me, right here, my app crashed. Now, my app crashed a lot during this. And again, I don't know if that's because of the beta, you know, it's a test version of the app. But anyways, here's what should happen. You scan in the character like this, and you see the beat bits off to the side. They all get added in for you to be able to add into your music videos. So once you scan them in, you'll see that you get the bandmate, and you get some extra little stylistic things you can add into your videos, a little stage you can put them on. And then you can start a new band or continue to add bandmates, which, of course, I created a band before uh, because I scanned some of these figures in. I know this is kind of a lot of terminology, but here's what a band looks like when you create create them and yeah you can take a photo for your band and that's a whole nother thing but here are the songs you can choose there aren't a ton of songs to start with but uh in a designer call that i was a part of i heard that they're going to be adding songs every week so luckily it'll be something you can come back and check out some other stuff unfortunately in this video because it's on youtube i can't actually play any of the music from this so you're just gonna have to use your imagination and yeah so that's that but you can see the wait times here are crazy you do have to scan in one bandmate to kind of like confirm that you have it so like let's say your friend has a figure um you know you can't always use theirs unless it's right in front of you now that said you just saw the app crashed again right in front of us but here's what it looks like once you set the stage, quite literally. So I did this in my kitchen, so you can see that it makes your minifigures look huge. But you can choose different scales, like if you wanted to put them in a Lego city, or if you wanted to put them somewhere big outdoors. You can change the scales, but here we go. I locked in this character and her bandmates here, so you'll see what happens. So the song is playing right now. Unfortunately, again, I can't play it for you for copyright reasons, but you can see that there are like different glitter effects you can put in, and every uh, beat brick, beat bit brick that is, is going to add a different effect that you can do with the character. So sometimes that's dance moves, sometimes that's special effects here, like the portal you just saw open up. There are different things. It's definitely a lot more fun if you can actually hear the music, but for copyright reasons, I can't do that. Um, I think that a big thing you'll want to do is watch a lot of videos or, you know, collaborate with your friends to see what all beat bricks you can get because, again, they all do have different uh, features. I believe there's somewhere around like 140 different beat bricks that are out there. So if you buy any given figure, you're going to get different beat bricks for every single one. So that's pretty cool. And with that being said, there's 
all these cool features. I can't really say I've found any favorites yet. You can see that they all interact differently and they make everything crazy. Like we've got a sepia tone here for like old style video. We've got snow going on, but that's a full video, uh, a full music video that is. So you'll see that it's going to zoom us out here. Let's see what it says. Shows us the video logo. It loads. And then kind of like Rock Band, if you remember that, or Guitar Hero back in the day, like you earn points based on how everybody did or how much they did or whatever. And you can use those rewards for other things. Now, it asked me to save this performance. So we're going to tilt my phone again. And to save the performance, you will need to log in and create an account. Uh, but all the accounts are anonymous. So, you know, you can't use like you know, many superheroes today, for example, is your username, because again, this is like a social media app for kids. So they are trying to keep it very safe and anonymous. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're back to the home screen now. And I'm gonna log in to try and save it. But when I click the login button, it just went completely black. Once again, I think it's just because this is like the tester app, but it is really annoying to have to show you guys a review with an app that's so buggy. So let's just skip ahead to when it's actually working. So once I did actually get to log in, you can see that even that took forever. I really hope that these are just glitches with the beta version of the app and not the final version, but in any case, it's really, really annoying. So getting back to how the app actually works, you can see that there are ways you can store photos and videos. You can share them in the app, once again, under an anonymous name. Unfortunately, I can't find any way to save the video off of the app. I think that that'll be something that comes out, you know, with the official version, not this beta test version. So I can't really show you any of my videos I created other than the one I kind of walked you through just a minute ago. So you can see that there's photos, you can create extra music videos and everything. Really not too terribly much more to say about the app experience, but there's definitely a lot to unpack here. I don't know that the app is super, super user friendly. Like I'm trying to think, you know, if I were 10 years old, how would this affect me? You know, would I be able to figure this out pretty easily? And I do think that it kind of throws you for some curves. It feels like a kind of unnecessarily complex app. But with that being said, let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. So let's round this out and I'll give you my final thoughts on video. Uh, I want to talk about it in a couple of different ways. First off, in originality. When it comes to originality, there can be no argument that this is a really fun LEGO theme. It kind of takes the best of a lot of different sub-themes of LEGO, if you will, like uh, Hidden Side, right? It brings in the AR side of Hidden Side. It brings in, obviously, a new music culture that we really haven't seen in LEGO quite like this. And then, of course, just the creativity of some original minifigures. So we're definitely getting an A-plus for video when it comes to originality. As far as the app functionality, you can see that I struggled with it quite a bit. I don't know if that's just because I got like the beta version of the app and they're still working out the kinks by the time you can get this, but I'm just not sure. The app doesn't have me sold. Also, I'm 25 years old and I prefer to build Lego models and display them rather than play with my Lego sets. That's totally okay for those of you who do like to play with them. It's just for me, I basically build them, display them, and that's about the end of it for me. So I don't really see myself spending a lot of my free time creating music videos for this just because, again, it's not my age demographic. Doesn't mean it's bad for anybody that does like it, just giving you my opinion. So, you know, the app I struggled with, I really can't give the app a high rating based on my experience with it and just the general way that it plays to me. Overall, I think the set builds are cool. We do get a lot of new original pieces, so I think that that's very, very cool. We're getting new molds. Never know where those can pop up again. So overall, my thoughts on LEGO Video, I definitely think it's cool. I think there's a lot of promise for what's coming down the road. There's definitely going to be more than just what we looked at uh, in the overview today. Definitely excited to see where the theme goes, but personally, it's not really something that I feel is a hallmark for LEGO, right? Like, I look at things like LEGO Studios from the uh, early 2000s. I thought that that was very cool. Mindstorms obviously has been going for, you know, more than a decade at this point. So Mindstorms, I think, is a great example of one. Star Wars obviously has had lasting legs. Not sure how long LEGO Video will last, but it is a very cool launch. And I would encourage you guys to get a set or two. See if you like it. I really don't think you can judge what LEGO Video is all about without trying it for yourself. So if you are even the least bit curious about LEGO Video, I really do think you should give it a go. But drop a comment and let me know what you think. 
As I mentioned, all of this stuff comes out March 1st, 2021, and I really am genuinely curious to hear what you guys think, so drop some comments below and let me know. All right, guys, thanks again to LEGO for this awesome opportunity, and I will see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO videos coming in the near future.